Hello all, GC Gamer here, and this is another episode of Football Manager 2016, Up the Pompey. We are currently in the Championship in Season 6, and we've just finished pre-season training and pre-season matches. Last season, we narrowly missed out on promotion to the Premier League because we just didn't have a good run of form in the last 10 games of the season. So last season, if you remember, we finished ninth, seven points behind the playoff winners eventually who were Brighton. Elsewhere in the leagues, in the English Premier League, in 2019-20, Man City won the league and Charlton, Tottenham and Sheffield Wednesday got relegated. If we look at previous seasons, you'll see it's been a mix of winners, Man U, Arsenal, Man City, throughout the seasons I've been playing. Um, at the moment, it looks like, for the Premier League, it's really Arsenal and Man City who are the top two teams. So Arsenal are predicted to finish second in the league. Um, and Man City are predicted to finish first. So they're usually the two clubs who are at the top of that league. If we look into the championship and we look at the odds in the championship this season, because Tottenham have been relegated, we are only the 12th favorite to win the league. Uh, so we're predicted to finish mid table because we're still relatively new to the league. But most importantly, how's our preseason gone? And how has our transfer business gone? Because that, for me, is always the most exciting in Football Manager. Well, we've only had four preseason training, uh, preseason friendly. Sorry, one was a one-one draw with new signing Hachim Mastur, who was confirmed last season to come to the club, scoring a goal. Uh, Thierry Ambrose scored two goals against Haven and Waterlooville. Angel Rodriguez and De La Torre got the goals against Charleroi, and then Thierry Ambrose and De La Torre scored the goals against Morecambe. Now you may be wondering. Who is this Thierry Ambrose guy? That brings me to the transfers so far this season. If you look at our transfer history, we have a lot of outgoing transfers. And one of those wasn't too surprising, and that's Jordan Siabachu. He came in the previous season, and he was tipped to be a good striker, a young American who had lots of potential, but unfortunately for us last season he just didn't play well, and in fact De La Torre, who was my second choice striker, ended up becoming the first choice striker. So he's moved to Brighton, who are in the Premier League, who just got promoted through the playoffs, as we saw earlier, for 2.1 million. I made a healthy profit, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, Kenneth McAvoy has gone out on loan since he fell down the pecking order. Ben Close and Connor Chaplam, the, their contracts ran out, so I let them go. I know other people who have played Portsmouth games have said to me, they're both absolutely excellent players. Maybe they were for you, but not for me. The other three transfers are just under 18 players. Alex Pritchard left the club for 4.7 million. When I got the offer that high, I just couldn't refuse. And there's reasons why I couldn't refuse as well, and I'll explain those soon. His form wasn't quite as good his second season in the championship, so I thought I should get rid of him while he's still playing well, and therefore I might be able to get some money. 27 years old, he's not going to improve very much, so I thought it was the perfect time to get rid of him. Now, I will explain why I got rid of him very soon, and one of those reasons you might be guessing already. Adam May also left for 3.7 million. This one was a little bit harder to decide since May had such a good season, but again, it was a big transfer uh, to a club that's got a bit of a better reputation than Portsmouth right now, so I thought I should let him go. Um, other than that, the big ones who left, uh, Ricardo Bagadur for 525k, Sean Murray for 600k, Kevin Endoram went back to Borg in Bress. I got him on a free, sold him back to them for 160k. Not bad business, really. Um, Jose Coronel, he couldn't get a work permit, so he has left with some add-on fees if he gets sold on. Uh, Jack Watmore on loan and some other loanees have gone out. But incoming transfers, the most exciting one, Jordan Rossiter. Jordan Rossiter was no longer wanted by Liverpool. He's been absolutely excellent for us. Even though he might not improve and might not become 
the best player in the Premier League. He's already a decent player for the Premier League, and he's been with us so long. The fans love him. He's been with us since the start of the game, so I'm just happy to have him, really. Yunus Kabuani and Hachim Mastur, just a quick look at them. We looked at those in the last episode. They were both going to join us, so they're the two players who we got in on free transfers, confirmed last season. Uh, Thierry Ambrose came on a free as well from Man City. He's valued at 6.25 million. He is a leading player for most Skybet Championship sides, and he's been doing pretty well when he's gone out on loan. Got quite a few goals on each of the loan uh, loanee clubs he's been to. So I'm happy to have him. He's already scored five goals in non-competitive matches, so I'm very happy to have him. He'll be my new first choice, striker, Delator, second choice. Jose Luis Ruiz came in on loan. He's a left winger. He's as good as what we have on the left wing, which is Zachariah Labiad and Indy Boonen, who's another loanee that we'll look at in a second. Angel Rodriguez came in as a right winger. Because we got rid of, um, what's his name? Pritchard. Pritchard, I'm sorry. Uh, this guy came in on loan just to provide cover, and so did Martin Bellick came in on loan to provide cover for the right wing spot. But who are they cover for? They're cover for the best transfer, I think, this season is Adama Traore. Adama Traore is a free transfer, used to play for Barcelona, went to Aston Villa for a large fee of 7 million, didn't really make it, but he still has lots of potential and he's 24 years old. He's a good player for Skybet Championship sides right now, but he could improve a lot. So I'm excited to have him in the squad and he will be the first choice right winger. I'm also excited to get the loanee signings sorry, of Andrew Slight, who is a very good player who can play in three positions, midfield centre, defensive midfield and defender centre. And he's good at all of the positions, so it's perfect to have him in the squad. Um, Ryan Mason came in on a free, big, uh, big signing really, he's 29 years old, decent player for the Premier Division, and he's going to be one of the best centre midfielders at the club. Indy Boonen came in as a left wing cover, again, free on loan, um, so I don't have to pay anything, so that's good. Ronnie Potter came in as cover for striker, Thierry Ambrose, Delator, Potter and Mastur are my strikers right now. And then Lorenzo Flippini came in on a free and he will be cover for left back Ronaldo Jonca, but he can also play defend defender centre if needed. So they're my signings for the season. I am most excited again about Adama Traore. Got lots of pace, good dribbling, decent crossing and good at corners. So I'm excited to have him on the wing. And then I'm also really, really excited about uh, Ryan Mason's ability in centre midfield. And of course, finally getting Jordan Rossiter uh, after being at the club for a long time and a new striker in Thierry Ambrose. So there's positives ahead for the season. Um, I feel like we've got a better squad than we had last season. And of course, last season we came close to the playoffs. So I'm hoping again this season we can improve a little bit and get into those playoff places. As for our finances in the club, we're up to 11.3 million. Part of that is due to our transfer history, selling 12 million worth of players and only spending 1.42. And I feel like we've got a better squad. Uh, Ryan Mason came in really to replace Adam May, who is my only kind of, should I sell him, should I not? Uh, we've got Belak, Traore and... Uh, Angel Rodriguez, who can all play on the right wing, so that really covers Alex Pritchard, as well as some new left wing signings, which Pritchard played occasionally. So overall, I'm happy with what happened. Jordan Ciabatu was replaced with a better striker, and I feel like we're ready, we're at that stage now where we've got some players who can play in the Premier League, so we could make the step up if we're asked, of, asked to. So... That's about it from me. Just a quick pre-season episode. We will be playing um, a match soon against um, Everton. That's our first game of the season. As you can see, if I want to, I can up my wage budget or up my transfer budget a little bit. But apart from that, there's nothing much I need to do. 
So, Everton, today, 3 o'clock. We're ready to play the game. I hope we win. I hope we have a good start to the season. But next time you see us, it will be during October, and it will be the first few months of the season. So, please like this video, please comment, and please subscribe. Lots of you people are watching this, and I really appreciate you watching the video. But I also just appreciate a quick click of the like button. If I could get to 10 likes on this video, that would be amazing. So, thanks again for watching, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Goodbye.